Hello, beer tubers, and welcome to another beer review with me, Peter, the master of hops today, joined by Brett of Anomyces and, and General Gerson. Yes, Henrik. Uh, so, we're going back old school today. Well, kind of old school. New old school, if you can say that. Old, new money. Yeah. Uh, so, way back in the day, one of the original breweries that really got me excited was Great Divide in Colorado. Uh, I believe it's Denver, Colorado. Yes. Uh, so, they I love their Yeti. Uh, one of the first beers I ever gave 100, if you want to see the review and try not to cringe, you can do that. Review 30 on the Master of Puppets is me reviewing Yeti and just being totally mind blown. We cringed, so. Uh, <laughs> uh, since then, there's been numerous variants, but this year is the 25th anniversary of that beer. And for the occasion, they brewed a new version called Big Yeti. And this is this one. This is the Big Yeti by Great Divide for the 25th anniversary of the Yeti beer with cool little iterations on the label. This is pretty much a colorized version of all the characters they've had on their labels throughout the years, mm -hmm. like the shades, which is pretty cool. So this version is just a bigger boulder Yeti. No barrel aging, no adjuncts and stuff like that. It's a straight imperial stuff. Uh, on 13.5% alcohol, so pretty big stuff. Big. Uh, yeah. Got this one on Beer Dome. So they, these guys just get loads of stuff. It's hard to keep up. Uh, it's yeah. But it's cool, man. They get so many great beers. So check them out. Link for their show is down below. So. Let's get started on Big Yeti. The first thing, this head on this beer is freaking gorgeous. And it's so easy to generate a nice head on there. It's like this really thick, rich mocha colored, like yeah. tan brown head. It really looks like a... It looks so like clean. Like a cup of coffee. Nice. Mocha. Yeah. yeah. Oh, espresso. And it is espresso, really thick. Yeah. I think it's, it's darker. Dark espresso. Yeah. And I think it's thicker and darker looking for sure than I remember regular the yeah. Yeti. But I haven't had the regular Yeti in so fucking long. But you could imagine that one being a bit more beige. Yeah. Mm -hmm. It's 9.5 the regular, I think. Yeah. And I've yes, had... This like 4%. I've right? had the barrel aged version, oak aged, espresso, chocolate oak aged. Yeah. And this is like 4% stronger, so definitely I guess more malts, but... And apparently it should taste almost barrel aged. But let's check out the aroma on the 25th Big Yeti. Oh. Oh yeah, that's really that's rich. Straight, rich that is rich and rich and barrel. It's not really roasty, umami. Oh yeah, dark so chocolate. Cool. Yes, it's really complex actually, considering no yeah. barrels and, and yeah. like big chewy malt. Like this really rich malt character, but there's even undertones of hops. Yeah, it's like, a bit hoppy. Like, slightly fresh green hop thing. But it's also a pretty fresh uh, can. So yeah, it mm. was from was it June? Late June. Yeah, and I can see what they talk about uh, on the description of the beer about a vanilla note. And yeah, there was like a hint of vanilla. For like a slightly like slightly vanilla whipped cream kind of note. What are you picking up? Like mm. well, uh, so a bit of soy sauce and yeah, honey and dark chocolate, dark fruit. Mm, yeah, not, not really chocolate. I would say I'm, maybe more like maybe a coconut nib. Yeah, yeah, yeah. like coconut nib. Co coconut nib. Yeah. yeah. It smells really nice. It smells mm. like just a really good straight up imperial style. Yeah. Maybe like a bit fruity dark chocolate. Yeah. Yeah, because it's not really that sweet to be honest. No. The, the aroma. But what a refreshing aroma in the day of mm -hmm. uh, crazy adjuncts. But, yeah. yeah. Let's try it. Cheers. And Cheers. thanks to Beer Dome for the beer. Mmm. Oh, that's wow. really creamy and velvety. Yeah. Great mouthfeel. Mm. Wow, it's got, it packs loads of flavor. Yeah. It kind of reminds me of Amaboku's Double Black Mash. Oh yeah. So it's a little less sweet. I think that one is hugely like tobacco, yeah. pipe tobacco forward, but this one has like notes yeah, of that. that. Yeah. Big roast profile, like mm -hmm. really like chewing on freshly roasted malt, like this really roasty, like it, it really screams like oh, beer. Wow. Mm -hmm. Like real beer, real ingredients, not like fluffing around making it taste to, uh, like pastry. <laughs> Even though I love that, but it's it's actually quite nice to come back to something like this. Mm. I think. Yeah, I think it's 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 quite classic in some way as it well. It is. It's very classic. Yeah, and well, it's I classic think... American imperial yeah. style because yeah, exactly. it's too malt heavy to be British mm. and not estery. You know? Yeah, yeah, and it, yeah, it doesn't have too much of that dark fruity estery. No. But it's actually a bit sweeter than I uh, I would have thought from the aroma. Yeah. Just a bit. But actually, I actually like it mm. because there is some bitterness as well, which balances out. Yeah, it's quite harmonious. Yeah. Mm. But again, a lot of the coconut mm. thing. I'm mm. getting a lot of that. We're getting a lot of tobacco too. Yeah. Like pipe tobacco. Mm. A little bit of a warming sweet alcohol thing without being too much. 
and just like they said on the description of the beer, um, yeah, it is slightly warming. Almost, yeah, almost like charry, mm. smoky notes from the malt as yeah, well. Yeah, it's a bit like, charry. Like, yeah. Almost like burnt wood. I can definitely sense why some people have said it's almost like it's slightly barrel aged because it has that mm. like almost woody flavor from roasted malt. I think so. And big time caramel too. Mm. You, you know, it could be like a, a neutral oak barrel or something yeah. that's just maybe been charred a bit. Mm -hmm. mm. And it leaves a sticky co uh, gloss coating on your lips for sure as well. Like, yeah. It's thick. Yeah. Mm. Maybe it's such of that vanilla. Mm. This is really nice classic beer, really complex, really drinkable. I think maybe even this in a barrel would be better than the base because I think so. That this thing. screams like it could definitely withstand it because it's such yeah. a rich beer. Um, yeah, yeah, yeah. I know it was really well priced too, mm -hmm. as far as I remember, and it's yeah. a huge can. <laughs> it was like seven or eight euros. Or something. I think it was less than that. Wow. Was it less? Maybe seven, six. I think I should buy a, a case. <laughs> <laughs> at least in Danish standards. I don't know. I don't want to know what it costs I mean, in the States. It's probably really cheap. But this would be pretty good for maybe aging a bit. Of yeah, I think this could be fun to have one can every year. Yeah. Because I think this will change a lot over time. I think yeah. so too. Yeah. It's almost like Ten Fitty, like a little bit. Actually. It is a bit like Ten Fitty. Similar like yeah. that. I think yeah. it's really good. I'm thinking like a 94. I don't want to jump all the way on a 95. No. But I actually really enjoy this. I think so. 93? Small 94. I'm going to 95 then. <laughs> yeah. It, it is just. I, I really like it. There's almost like licorice vibes too. Mm, oh it's yeah. just. It's very nice, classic, but big, rich imperial stuff. And then it, it, it actually, when if, when it as it warms up a bit, I think I think there is getting a, more, a bit more licorice. Yeah. Yeah. When it's warm. I definitely see the licorice. Almost like mm. Moscovado sugar or something. Yeah. Like that. But this is really good, guys. I mean, if you want to just try like. Benchmark classic imperial stout. That's a bit more rich than the average is mm. Big Yeti. That's pretty much it. This is really good yeah. and really affordable. I definitely recommend trying this if you want a little break from barrel aids and pastry. This is fucking awesome. Mm. So, if you guys had a chance to try the twenty fifth anniversary Big Yeti by Great Divide, let us know what you thought of it. If you want to try it, you can still get it on Beer Dome. I'm pretty sure. I think they also had some other stuff maybe they even had barrel aged old ruffian I'm not entirely sure but check them out and uh, as always remember to comment subscribe check out the facebook fan page and twitter instagram all that social media jazz give this video a thumbs up if you enjoyed it and we're gonna say cheers and classic cheers. imperial stout and see you guys in another video